So now that we have that well of dry ingredients inside of here, what we're gonna do is go ahead and add our wet ingredients. Our wet ingredients is an entire stick, which is eight tablespoons, a half a cup of butter, melted, but it shouldn't be blazing hot. It should be kind of slightly cooled. Then we don't want it to start getting hard again, but not bubbling, you know, not boiling hot out of the out of the mic or however you're gonna melt it. One and one third cup of water and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. So we're basically going to add the butter. And once again, you know, I'm the I'm the guy that likes to get all my ingredients in here. So I like to give a scrape to get all that goodness in there. There's supposed to be all that butter in there. I don't want to miss any of it. Give me that butter. Give me that butter. All right. Once we have all that in there, we're going to do the same thing with the water. I'm going to do the same thing with my sour cream. Now for the sour cream, I haven't given you the measurement yet. For the measurement for the sour cream, we're looking at three quarters of a cup. Okay, three quarters of a cup. So I have this pretty much measured out of here because I took a quarter of a cup out of here, which this is one cup. So this is going to be my three quarters of a cup. And then the only other wet ingredient that we're going to need to add is going to be my vanilla. So there we have that. Last thing I need. I'm not even going to lie to you. I like vanilla extract, so I want it a little heavy. I let it overflow a little bit. Now, again, because we have all the dry ingredients in here, I'm putting it on real low. I'm going to turn it up as I see fit. I'm even going to raise this up a little bit. I'm going to take my own mini whisk and I'm going to go around these sides because I'm seeing some stuff that's not being picked up off of these sides. You do not need to have this super, super, super mixed, right? So I'm actually going to finish this. I'm going to finish this by hand, actually. So I'm going to take my whisk. You can use a larger one if you want, but that one wasn't getting down to the bottom for me. So I don't know if you can see in here, but you need to really, when you have all these dry ingredients, a little bit of sour cream off the side here, when you have all these dry ingredients, you just need to make sure that you're getting down into that. You will have, okay, just like you take a brownie kind of box mix out of the package and mix it up, it's going to be a little bit lumpy. Okay? You want this to just start combining. And you want to make sure when you're moving this that you don't have any dry ingredients stuck at the bottom. So I'm going really hard around the bottom, working my way out. I'm going all the way around the sides again. Just get all that stuff combined. And when you don't see any kind of big dry lumps, I'm seeing some really kind of just small lumps in here. I've got everything combined. We're done. Okay. What we're going to do right now is we're going to go ahead and basically divide this cupcake batter up among my 24 packs of cupcakes. How do I divide something up like that? You simply take your time. I'm going to start with my two tablespoon thing I'm going to do. And I'm just going to start going around the sides, going around and filling it up. I'll show you in just a second. I'm going to move one of my trays over here. In here, I'm going to start with just taking the batter. And dividing it up. So this is kind of a by eye thing. I'm starting with roughly two tablespoons. So 
So I'm going to do this again for my other tray. All right, so I've, I've been all the way around with my two tablespooner. And I have more chocolate. So like I said, I don't, I don't know. I don't have an exact measurement for how much cupcake batter divides this up. You will the more you do it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to simply take tea, uh, tablespoons and just add a tablespoon more to each one until it's evened out. You're just looking for even sizes. That's all we're looking for. All right, we're going to come back here. We're going to take a look now at our cheesecake batter. So what I'm going to do, since I had to sit for a little bit, I'm just going to pop it a couple more times, just make sure it's nice and creamy. I'm going to go ahead, take that lid off. I'm actually going to get my centerpiece out of here. So to do that, what I'm going to do again is take... I'm going to get myself just a butter knife. I'm going to make sure I get all this lovely stuff off of my blade. All right. And now all we're going to start doing is dropping this particular mixture. But what we're, what we're going to do is we're going to basically take the cheesecake batter. And it's about a tablespoon. But what you want to do is you want to put that in there. Now, the other thing that I would suggest is that you actually move that around a little bit. In other words, I want to make sure that cheesecake batter is getting into that chocolate dough. And you can do one of two things. You could actually mix your chocolate chips in with this batter before you do this. As you're going to see me do in a minute, I'm just going to add some chocolate chips in here myself. But you can go ahead and mix them ahead if you want. Get my other tray here. And we're just going to repeat. So I have it fully distributed. Last thing I'm going to do is add some chocolate chips. I like to clean up my tray. If you don't care, it's just going to get brownie, brown, and baked. But if I can clean up any of these things on the top, I go ahead and clean them up ahead of time. But it doesn't really matter. So now I'm going to get the chocolate chips. Again, make sure you're using many. All right, the last thing I'm going to do, as I just did a little bit this before, is just kind of push them down a little bit. Okay, Mix them in. All right, we are ready for the oven. These things are going into the oven for roughly 23 to 25 minutes. Remember, we preheated our oven to 400 degrees. So that oven is preheated to 400 degrees. I'm actually going to go ahead and put these in the oven right now. Mine is already preheated. And here comes the moment of truth. I've had them in for about 24 minutes. And there we go. So you can see that the tops start cracking a little bit brown. All right. If you don't like them as brown, you can take them out a little bit sooner. We're going to let that cool. And we're going to completely cool them. And we'll come back and taste them in a little bit. All right, here we go. 
Test my black bottom, split that baby open. That's what we got inside. Some of that cream cheese chocolate. Let's see what we got. Delicioso. I hope you enjoy yours. Peace.